Foreclosure might feel like a runaway train. If you are on the verge of losing your home, you need to stay for this. I am going to be talking about how you can take control of your finances, putting cash in your pocket, and avoiding the nightmare of losing your house to the bank. So let's get right into it. If you're losing your home or about to, then you know that time is running out, but here's the good news because you still have a chance to sell it for top dollar before the bank takes over. Sounds impossible, right? Well, I'm about to show you how. A lot of people facing foreclosure don't really know that you still have options. I'm going to give you four tips on how to sell your house quickly, but most importantly, for the highest possible price, even if your house is in terrible condition and even if it needs repairs. First thing you need to know is what is your home worth exactly? And I'm not talking to you about a guesstimate or an online estimate. You really need a real up-to-date market analysis because if you're in foreclosure, time is of the essence and pricing your house correctly from the start can make all the difference. This analysis will tell you if you have equity to work with or if you're up against some tougher financial odds. But trust me, even in foreclosure, you likely have some equity left to protect because the market has been nuts and crazy and most likely you have money in that house. Now let's get to tip number two, and that's my favorite, which is the power of presentation. And I know you're not going to need a total remodel, so take a breather. No need to be nervous. Let me show you how simple this is. Now you might be thinking my house is old, that's not gonna work, it needs repairs, I haven't maintained it for a long time. Wrong. I recently helped a homeowner in a similar situation. Their home hadn't been updated in over 50 years. And guess what? We still sold it for the highest price that the market could generate. And the sellers, they were shocked that we were able to get and get it sold for $35,000 over the asking price. That really exceeded their expectations. We were able to get it done because we focused on simple yet high impact changes and a little bit of cleanup and a little bit of decluttering and boom, the house was ready to attract serious buyers. The key, and please listen closely, it's in your best interest to sell your home for the highest price possible, especially when you are in foreclosure because chances are that you still have equity in the home and that equity can put money in your pocket after the sale. Plus your lender will add additional fees to your final payoff amount. Things like late fees, legal fees, and interest. So the higher the sale price, the more those fees are covered and you'll have more money that can cover those expenses. And that's the ultimate goal, isn't it? This is why aiming for the top dollar is essential even in this kind of type situation. I worked with the homeowner. They had no chance of selling their house for a good price, but with a few minor updates, we sold it for top dollar. The best price possible, they had more equity than they could ever imagine. Now let's talk about pricing. Pricing your home right from day one is critical to the end result. If you price the home too high, buyers will come and take a look at it, but they will steer clear from it, especially if they find out that you're in foreclosure and see the price is unrealistic. They will try to offer under market value with the idea that you might be desperate and they can get a good deal. So it's important to find that sweet spot where the price of the house is competitive enough to get attention, but still high enough to maximize on your equity. And that skilled real estate agent comes in and trust me, this is not something you want to guess. It really takes knowledge of the market, knowledge of the local area. And of course, it takes a lot of experience knowing how to price the house correctly. And then tip number four is really finding the right buyer because when racing against the foreclosure, time is money. And I mean, literally, you don't just need buyers, 
you actually need the right buyer and you need them fast. It can be cash buyers, it can be investors who can close quickly, and sometimes that speed is crucial when the foreclosure is looming. I have worked with cash buyers, investor buyers who can close quickly, and the more qualified buyers you have looking at your property, the better chances you have to get the top dollar before the bank steps in and schedules an auction sale of your house and then it's too late. We can sell it to a conventional buyer with the mortgage as well. However, they have to be willing to wait and go through the process. In case you are in a short sale situation, they may want to move in specifically on a certain time. And because it's going to be a short sale, they might not be willing to do that because you never know if that's going to actually go through and if the bank is going to accept and approve it. But I do have a video about short sales. Uh, if you're very interested in knowing how that works, you could definitely uh, go ahead and watch that later on my channel. So here's the bottom line. Every day you wait to act is a day closer to foreclosure. And every day that you wait, it's an accumulation of more penalties, late fees, and attorney fees. So if you can't catch up to bring the mortgage current and get rid of the foreclosure, and if you want to sell your house and protect your equity, and walk away with cash instead of being forced into foreclosure you need to act now and i'm not kidding i mean it i'm serious don't wait until the bank has all the power this is your home this is your equity and this is your financial future but you have to move fast by the way if you are curious to see what a cash buyer will pay for your house you might want to check it out i'm going to put a link for you in the description for easy access below and you can just click on it and check to see what a cash buyer will pay for your house and if it's a cash deal and it's no obligation just check it out do yourself a favor now that you know what you need to do to sell your house for top dollar and you're probably wondering how do i prepare my house to get the best possible offer right but that's where staging comes in. Make sure to check out my next video about the home staging tips for successful and profitable sale. I'll walk you through how to present your home, even if it's a bit outdated to attract buyers and it's not even gonna cost you money to do. Curious? If you found this video helpful, don't stop here. There's a lot more that you need to know to make sure you're getting the best deal possible on your home sale. So hit that subscribe button and make sure to watch the next video about the home staging tips for successful and profitable sale. It's all about getting your home ready to attract that buyer fast so you can sell for the highest price possible. Click the link and I'll see you there.